So some of you that came to this video may be wondering whether or not the time, ammunition, medical supplies, heck even your pride is really worth trying to take out the Scorched Beast Queen. Trust me, I was wondering that myself after I seen how hard of a nipple twister this thing can really give you. I mean, it really isn't the queen herself that gives you the hard nipple twister. It's all the enemies as well surrounding the queen. Holy crud. It's insane. It really is. So the question is, is all this chaos worth it? The short answer to this, in my opinion anyways, is yes. Some players that have taken this out before may think differently, which that's completely okay, but in this one, I'm going to be going over some of the reasons why it can be worth the time. I mean, of course, it's fun. It's something to do in Fallout 76 that players gather around and try to take on. And that right there is a beautiful aspect that we get to experience in the Fallout universe now. It feels refreshing. This is probably one of the most difficult events in the game. It's called Scorched Earth. Although it may be really difficult, it is highly rewarding. You have a chance of getting amazing weapons, amazing armor. Overall, it does come with amazing loot. You can, however, get the bad end of the stick, as you can see here. Uh, I mean, that's just RNG. I will say that this Scorch Beast Queen does have a specific drop. It can have a chance at dropping Ultrasight Power Armor plans. As some of you may know, you can get the Ultrasight Power Armor from the Brotherhood of Steel quest, but you can't get the plans. And as you can see here, a Reddit post was made about this. Can you get plans for the Ultrasight Power Armor? Uh, this person had lost their helmets and arm. And the response was, as far as I know, you can only get the plants from the Scorch Beast Queen. So yeah, that is true. And it seems like it's the only location that these plants will drop from. If any of you have taken her out, I would love to know any of your unique rewards that you may have gotten from her. Anyways, to trigger this Scorched Earth quest, someone will need to drop a nuke over here at the bottom right of the map on this Fisher Site Prime. If you do that, it will summon the Scorched Beast Queen to the surface, along with a ton of other strong enemies. You're just going to have to get over here after the nuke drops, of course, and that's how the event will end up popping up. And let's just say we're not going to be skipping through a park with rainbow and sunshines and pretty little flowers, and we got Girl Scout cookies in our little picnic basket. It's not going to be nothing like that, so don't even picture that. It's going to be the complete opposite of that. Complete opposite of peaceful. Chaos! It's chaos here! So keep that picnic basket back at home and bring your warfares! First off, you know, of course, this is more for end game players. You know, even if you're not an end game player, though, you can still go and take this out. I'm not an end game player and I still managed to take this out. Of course, there was a lot of other players and good players, not to mention helping me out. It's a team effort, okay? Just because I'm not level 80 or something at the moment doesn't mean I'm not exactly helping. Now, I'm not saying, of course, go here at level 5, but, you know, if you're at level 20 or so, still, try to go here. Help out. The more players, the better. And there is a total of 24 players, I believe, in a server at a time. The highest level out here in the field with our fight against this queen was my buddy sit right there as you can see on our team he was not only the highest on the field but the biggest help he was also the guy repairing the rocket turrets so i gotta give him credit during this video he even was the one who launched a nuke so we could fight the queen this dude was the mvp anyways before he launched it we were in a party together and i partied up and sent other people messages that were in this server letting them know a nuke was about to be launched and so and so time and what our plan was with the Scorch Beast Queen. Of course, you don't really need to go to that extreme. Just starting out something that we did just to make sure because we wasted quite a bit of time on this. So we wanted to make sure not only was we prepared this time more, but our server was too. Yeah, we went to that extreme because not only is the Scorch Beast Queen tough, Keep in mind, after you get her half health, the first time she will regenerate just like, you know, all other legendary enemies. And there is a certain time limit to defeat her, as you can see in the top right next to the Scorched Earth event. So to be prepared, the best tip that was given to me and my team was to get the perk card Home Defense 3 and then make some rocket turrets and put a base right by that Fisher Site Prime, right around this area, in between the two Fisher Sites. 
Of course, you know, the base will be destroyed when the nuke goes off around that area, but that player who made the base there, or players who make the bases there with rocket turrets, or turrets in general that could help with all these enemies, could just repair them. Keep that in mind. So even though the nuke will destroy them, you just have the players repair them, and then you got those turrets helping maintain the enemies that surround the Scorch Beast Queen. Like, there is a lot of enemies, and this was one of the best tips that was handed to us. Like, once we were told this tip, literally the next time we versed this queen, we beat her. I think we had about four or five rocket turrets down, and they were doing some work. They were really helping. Although they would get destroyed sometimes, but once again, you can just repair them once they get destroyed by the enemies. Also something to remember to do for sure before going to this fight is turning on pacifist mode. In case you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is press start, go to menu, go down to settings, go to game, and then as you can see, pacifist mode. In pacifist mode, you can't hurt other players and are choosing not to participate in PvP. And then at the end, it's like, PS, other players can still murder you. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Everybody that's coming here, participating in this, just turn on pacifist mode. Make it easier for other players, because I know there will be a lot of explosions. Anyways, another uh, perk card that I suggest checking out is the Team Medic one, because that will share your stem pack usages. But yeah, those were two that really stood out to me and helped a lot within this fight. Of course, there's all kinds of other perk cards that would be handy. So like I was mentioning before, you know, you could come here at level 20 or so to set up some turrets around. You'll be surprised how much that can actually help maintain enemies around here. Even though it may not be doing the most damage, it's a great distraction. The more players that are down here versing this, the better. We are better in numbers. Also, of course, before coming down here, be sure you are prepped with ammunition, weapons, and medical supplies. Which, by the way, if you need to know a way to get medical supplies, I made a video over a very fast farming method that you can use to get medical supplies. And it's literally right by the Scorched Beast Queen fight. I'll have a link down below in the description if you want to check out that video in case you are wondering. I mean, at the moment, there really hasn't been a secret magic formula method made as far to my knowledge anyways on how to take out this Scorched Beast Queen effectively, but these were some tips that really helped us out. Like I was saying before, the Home Defense 3, just setting up a few bases around in that area with rocket turrets, oh my gosh. Turrets in general are a huge help. I will say though, if you do know any tips from experience that really helped you and your team out, feel free to share them in the comments. The more information, the better for this fight, I feel. But yeah, that's about wrapping up this video. Good luck to everyone that's going to go attempt fighting this queen. And I also wish you luck with your loot as well if you do take her out. I'm out of here though. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. I hope this helped out and you found it enjoyable. If you did, remember to leave a like on the video. That's always greatly appreciated. And, you know, maybe stick around and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. Until next time, though, peace.